Hello everybody. Uh, there is a lot of buzz about JetGPT at the moment, so I will also try to use it in, in this video. Here I have three microcontrollers. Um, the first is PIC 60F628. The second one is uh, 18F4550. And the last one is PIC 12F629. So the specs are uh, here. Uh, of course, this one is the beast out of those three ones. And um, yeah, I will try to use this one. And I will try to use my Picit 4 programmer to program this little PIC microcontroller. So, and instead of writing code myself, I will try to use a chat GPT for, uh, to assist me to write a decent code at the, at the beginning, just for blinking. I, maybe afterwards we can go further to use a switch or something else. But for now, just try can chat GPT assist me to program a micro microcontroller. So and here I will ask, hello, let's be polite. So I simply ask uh, chat GPT, can it write a simple blinky code for this microcontroller? Use internal clock, uh, PA1 as an output, and instead of one second, just use 540 millisecond delay between the flashes. Okay, let's see what it will show us as an output. Yeah, this is good, but there is no configuration bits, <laughs> so I cannot use it. Okay, as as I was using this controller some years ago, and I, I know that um, some configuration must be done before I program this code, this controller, so I already know that this may work, but I'm not so sure. So I will ask him, I will ask the chat the GPT, the AI to uh, set also the configuration right. That's good, that's right, that's okay, but <laughs> it forget to add the configuration bits. Okay, so I can copy the bits for my, uh, to myself, but <clears throat> I will ask to chat GPT to just add the bits as well. Nice. I hope this works. Uh, I hope this works. So I will open my... MP lab. Maybe I should specify the, the version of my MP lab also. I don't know. So I created the project for peak 60F 16F uh, 628 and yeah. Uh, I will include a main file. Okay. So let's input the code was provided by. Okay. By chat GPT and see what's going on. So let's try to build this one. Okay, build failed. And why it is so? So, can we ask chat GPT to fix this? Um, so, okay. And this code give me an error and I will copy this error over here over here and as well as this one okay and this one
okay now it gives me only one <laughs> so just just uh, skip these two things okay let's see how it goes then okay build okay build was successful maybe it will work so i will connect my uh, programmer and let's just see what's going on so eventually mm, i accidentally restarted my computer so maybe some data is lost okay i i found that the tool is shown over here so i also change uh, enable the five volt um, uh, power supply for this uh, small microcontroller and it's five volt tolerance so that's okay that's okay so let's try to upload the code build successful so as you see here in this um, video I finally get it working mm -hmm. so there is one problem my mistake I I was I was confused by the power supply pins and I was co connected the, the, the pins backwards so that was bad but eventually the chip didn't die and as you can see the chip works very well so let's try to Let's go back to this uh, MP Labix and just uh, change to some different number. For example, 300, 300, yes. And let's do the same thing and see what's going on over there. Okay. And it's done. It's working. So, yeah, the disk code, which was provided by chat gpt uh, as far as blinking led works very well so you have to know how to connect the controller and um, yeah it, it does work that's great <laughs> actually i'm a bit surprised that it worked but it's good that it works so my question is can we go go further so i hope hooked up my controller with a button and eventually I connected that uh, it is pull up with a 5 volt uh, over there there this module uh, already has a pull up resistor inside and I soldered this to PA PA uh, RA0 <laughs> RA0 so yeah uh, okay so let's ask chat chat GPT can it help us with this code so I downloaded the code it didn't work why I guess I know why so yeah the problem was with the this trees a register configuration so great um, yeah if you have Arduino, it's quite easy to follow some tutorials and quite easy to program this. Uh, but if you have some fancy micro microcontrollers, as I have some PIC microcontrollers and others, uh, which are not so... Well, there's a lot of examples, of course, but uh, basically to back in the day to get this microcontroller working was a nightmare. You have to read a lot of um, data sheets and a lot of information about this, uh, this uh, controller. And it was hard. So the next one, I will try this this one because it's quite interesting one. This uh, 
18F4550. But maybe it's for another video. So today I will say goodbye and hope you enjoy this. Okay, see ya.